invited you to thank me. Of course. That was a good meeting this morning. You know, great momentum. It's great to see so much enthusiasm. Yeah, there's been a, a lot of soul searching, a lot of new ideas, and well, uh, we just were kind of curious about where you stood and all that. Not sure I follow you. Well, we want to know if we can count on you to back us. This uh, robbery occurred over two hours ago. It took you a while to locate your conscience, didn't it? It's been a complicated night. So it seems, exploding vans, mysterious Chinamen. You know what I think? I think you're up to your balls in this. And now you're sitting here, shitting yourself, looking for a way out. We think it's time for a change, otherwise it's going to be the same old gridlock. Well, the risk, you know this. The risk is if we don't stick together, then the left could win. We stick together, push through our agenda, and we'll be picking all the apples, as my uncle used to say. Yeah, but some of those apples are a little rotten, Francine. Do not see these words as I do. But I promise you, they do not share our eyes. Shepherd. That's what the people want, a strong shepherd. And that's us, and that means no dissent. Then you're abandoning the First Amendment. Then what? You're into a civil war. Civil wars are never good for business. Business. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I don't need you. I'm just being nice, polite, because I don't want you to be left on your own. Why risk it? Because it's worth it. Because we have the momentum. We already have four years behind us. Now, folks are ready for it. People are ready for this. For what? What exactly is it that you don't already have? What are we talking about here? <laughs> 